But instead, I'm going to go further and cut the main rate of employee national insurance by two percentage points from 12% to 10%. This week, the Chancellor gave his autumn statement, which sets out our tax and spending priorities for the year ahead. Now, there's a lot in it, but I wanted to tell you about some of the key measures that will benefit local people and families. Firstly, employee national insurance will be cut from 12% to 10%. This is one of the biggest tax cuts since the 1980s and it will save the average worker hundreds of pounds a year. We're also cutting national insurance for the self-employed, saving the likes of plumbers, delivery drivers and farmers hundreds of pounds a year as well. Secondly, the living wage has seen the biggest ever cash increase and will rise to £11.44 an hour. Thirdly, the pensions triple lock is staying and the state pension will rise by 8.5%. And fourthly, benefits are going up by 6.7%. We're also freezing all alcohol duty and increasing the housing allowance, all measures that will help with the cost of living. The government has been focusing relentlessly on inflation for the past year and it is now falling. It's now half what it was when it passed its peak last year. This will help to cut our food and our energy bills. And for businesses, we are freezing rates and extending the 75% discount for retail and hospitality for another year. This will support jobs and livelihoods within our pubs and high street shops in Orpington. Importantly, as a result of the work the government has undertaken in the past year, we can now begin to lower taxes because our economy is in a much better place. We avoided a predicted recession this year. Inflation is falling and both debt and borrowing are lower than the forecast said that they would be. So I very much welcome these measures. They will help those that need it and encourage a dynamic economy that rewards effort and work and will benefit Orpington and the country as a whole.